starting out the season, you know, we started off good. Week one win against Grays Lake Central. Pretty sure it was 46 to seven. I think that was the score. And then I started off the season on a good note. And then going into week two, we played Hinsdale Central, which was also a good game. I feel like week one, you know, we were just knocking all the nerves off. But I feel like week two, we definitely fulfilled our potential that game, you know. Although there was some adversity, I feel like we overcame that. But, you know, we definitely still had a lot to work on, and we still do. Uh, week three, we had the tough loss to Naperville North. We lost 51-49. to They beat us by a last-second field goal. I mean, that was really just a heartbreaker, but, you know, I, our team didn't get too let down by that loss, but, you know, we got to get better next week, you know, week by week. And then week four, we played HF. HF, that was our rivalry game, you know, we're playing for the trophy, and that was our last time playing them, so it was a hard-fought game. It was pretty much a defensive game, so we won 21-14. to 14. Still some mistakes that game, actually a lot of mistakes that game. We definitely have a chip on our shoulder this week. It's our homecoming this week now against Lakeway Central, so we got to come back, hit them in the mouth, you know, have a good game. Today we are spotlighting two powerhouse schools. Our Marshall Harris joins us live from Bolingbrook High School where they are taking on Naperville North tonight. Marshall? Yeah, the Raiders are excited about this one. One, they're... They have a chance to go to 3-0. and Another thing is they're taking on a Naperville North team coming off a loss to Loyola Academy. And Naperville North still ranks 16th in the state, according to Max Preps. I'm joined by sophomore quarterback Jonas Williamson. He's only a sophomore, not old enough to drive yet, but he's leading drives down the field. It's been a good season so far, but you're only two games in. How excited are you about tonight's game? Um, you know, I'm pretty excited. You know, me and my team, we put in a lot of work in the offseason, so you know, we're prepared. You know, we got to come out and handle business. The Raiders 2 0 versus the Naperville North Huskies 1 1. The weather's cloudy, cool, perfect night for football for Friday Night Lights. Looks like they're lighting candles over there at Naperville North in the end zone, like they're, they're wishing and hoping over there. 47.5. Here we go. Got 24 in as a running back. Hand off to him, fake, and go fast. And guess what? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, that's a Williams to Adrian Jones. Touchdown, Raiders! Ah, Raiders, you. The Raiders, look at it. I think they're going for two. They're going to win or lose on this one. That's the way to go. I think that's the way to play it. Here's the handoff. Here's the head. He's going to run it out. He's going to have got a guy. He's got a guy. He's got a guy. Yeah, there's a tail. And it's Kai Berry and Stewart. There you go. It's Kai and Barry Johnson again. Kai and Barry Johnson. I didn't say Stewart. I had him on my mind. Kai and Barry Johnson. Touchdown. <laughs> We played good as a team, bro. And like, all, we cut out all that flags, like I shared earlier. We win this game, right? All that other, like, that's not, that's unacceptable. And that's gonna start by me. Half time, like, whole first half, I wasn't, I wasn't on my game. That's on me, team. I gotta pick y'all up, and I gotta keep me up. Feel me? 
So that's on me. I love y'all boys for real. Keep y'all head up. This L, this ain't, this ain't nothing, bro. Hey, it's just, hey, it just builds character. It builds character. We all want to be undefeated. There's nothing wrong with being eight and one. You know that, right? There's nothing wrong with being eight and one. And that's not one game at a time, one quarter at a time, one play at a time. But we have to get one percent better each day. Get one percent better each day. Jonas, give us a break. Go see your position coach. Hey, I love y'all, boys, man. Hey, man. Let's go, Jonas. 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 Let's go, as a whole team, so it's not offense and defense, it's the whole bowling, but if we just come together and we just reflect on the mistakes that we had, how we can persevere and next game mentality, just go one and oh next week. I feel like you know, on Saturday morning practice is best to focus on what we did wrong and not, what so, we, not, not the success we had. Yeah, for sure. You continue to do it! And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our varsity Viking personal dance foul. team. And the personal foul. Offside. Offside. Hold it. They ain't beating us. We beating us. Wake up. Every week, you making a sell on me decision to get personal fouls. It's about you. Not about Bowling Brook. You. That's called accountability. There's some things that we know 
we have to clean up and we're going to work hard as a, as a staff and as an individual, you have to look inside yourself. Because the only team that can beat Bowling Brook is who? Bowling Brook. We're only as good as who? We just lead. We're only as good as who? We just lead. We have to fix it. We have to fix it. The job well done. You came into a hostile environment and you fought to the end. The one thing we consistently show is that it's never over until it's over. So we've never packed our bags in and said that's it, right? Fourth and one, on our what, 20? Coach looked me in my eye and said, let's go. I'm not going to second guess, because I believe in us. We believe in us, right? But we got to get better. You know what I'm saying? We'll go through our meetings, we'll assess some things, flush it, because next week we have another opponent, right? So we got to make sure we do it. Kaya, if you can walk over and bring the trophy to the house, say thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have our greatest, you know, showcase, but I believe in the word team. And to me, when I say team, together, everyone achieves more. All right? That goes from the special team, that goes to the defensive side, that goes to the offensive side. Um, I take full responsibility of ours. We, we, we look to pitch a set out, but they have some complicated things over there. So that's a great team over there. But defense, I want to thank you guys for, for, for leaving them at 14 points. Tavares, critical play over there, buddy. You know, um, it, it was a lot of different things that you know we challenged coach on, and I'm gonna be, and I'm going to say this, Chris, you're a leader on this ball club, right here. And, and me and Venice took a lot of yelling to make that decision. But I'm gonna tell you something. Where you at, son? I where you at? I trust that we're gonna do better because you're a leader on this team. And I came to him and I asked him. Can you get another opportunity? Because I got your back. Okay? But we cannot. We have to be better on, on, on that clean up side. That can't happen up here. Because that shows an undisciplined ball club, and that's not that's not what we are. You guys got me? Let's go. Let's enjoy this victory. Let's enjoy that trophy. Let's be one and no next week, all right? Oh, Josh, everybody. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we got you, man. Yeah, we got you, man. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Hey, 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 when I say hey, Chuck, y'all say K. Hey, hey Chuck. Uh, I feel like homecoming is probably one of the biggest games of the year because we know we're out here representing not only ourselves, but the entire school and the entire program as a whole. So we like to. I guess you could say set the tone for the rest of the year and how, I guess you could say it's like our halfway checkpoint on how the season's gonna go. HF, HF, when you blitz the C gap, the C gap. <laughs> that was definitely, and let up a touchdown. That was definitely Naperville. That was definitely only Naperville. Because we were all black shirts, right? When, when, when I grabbed you by your helmet, just started yelling in your face. Oh, you never did. Or you can, uh, hey, how tough are you? What? Hey, how tough are you? Put that on something. Put that on something. Oh, my God. Hey, no, no. Put that on This man right here. Put that on something. He swear, he never mess up. He definitely do. <laughs> oh, every game. Put that on something. Put that on camera. Bro, you blitzed the sea gap. No, no, I did not. Oh, my God. I didn't pull up. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Bro, and then, and then at the end of it, at the end of it, he was like, he was like, dude. Yeah, I blitzed the sea gap, but I was doing that all game. I was doing it all game. <laughs> Ain't nobody saying nothing to me. Hey, when do y'all blitz? What's up? That's not what I asked. You go. You either gotta take him hey, out or down. get the ball. Hey, what's this? Oh, 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 o
how much does it cost? No, I mean, what you got? It's all cool. 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 Man, don't try. Don't, 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 I don't work alone. I never had it. Come on, here. You've had obviously you've had a couple of ups and downs, right? Individually throughout the games, yeah. but you continue to lead these guys. Like no matter what happens out there, you step up. You lead these guys. You take accountability, which is something that like a lot of people don't do. So I got a lot of respect for that. First of all, thank you. Second of all, just like how do you continue to constantly keep your head up? Like everybody makes mistakes out there. So how do you keep your head up and continue to be like a role model to these guys in a sense? Cause I feel like uh, I've been here for a while and I've been here for four years starting on this level. And I feel like a lot of these, a lot of my brothers out there, they really look up to me. And I feel like it came, somebody got to lead the pack. And I feel like it's just, it, it got to be me. So no matter if I go through ups or downs, I still got to keep my head up. Cause I know I got my brothers behind me and they need me. So. That's really my motivation to lead this team. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody finna throw a ball at you. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good day. They done made it to the front. I'm gonna, hey, what I will say is that it's been a spirited week of practice. Uh, we lost one of our soldiers, so somebody else got to pick up the slack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't wish ill will on anybody, uh, but to know we got some guys out gives other guys other opportunities to step up. So that's what it's gonna come down to, right? Seniors, stand up. How many games are you guaranteed? Nine. How many more do you have? Oh, four. Guaranteed. Barring nobody get injured, knock on wood. She only got four. You see how fast the season went? Yes, sir. And we try to tell y'all in the summer that these games are going to come and go, and it's done happen. Now it's real, right? You got a team. You can take a knee. You got a team that's coming into your house. Your house. Just feeling like they can win. I want y'all to let that sink in. You got a team that's coming in your house that's feeling like they can win. Despite all the distractions that can occur tomorrow. You know, you got the homecoming. You got the Puyata class, the pep rally. All that stuff, that's fine. They're supporting you. But what you have to do is stay locked in to the task at hand. There's going to be many distractions tomorrow. A lot of stuff going on. You have to take it upon yourself as a young man to stay laser focused at the task at hand. And that is to pound central. You have to get your point across. If we out physical them, everything else will take care of itself. If we win at the line of scrimmage or offense deep, everything take care of itself. If we hit tackle, everything take care of itself. If we play pitch and catch, run, block, everything take care of itself. Make special teams important. Don't just get on it to take a break. Don't just go out there to say you ran a rep. Make special teams mean something to you. Because that's a facet of the game that we have to win. Right? One quarter at a time, one game at a time. Nothing else matters. So establish your dominance. First quarter, second quarter, take them, they take their heart by the third, finish them in the fourth. Does anybody say how that works? That's close. Look at the person in front of you and say to yourself, every single time you line up, he can't beat me. Every time you line up, look at the person in front of you and say, he will not beat me. We're only as good as what? Our We're only as good as what? Our we shouldn't have one tomorrow. 
Coaches did a great job of game planning. Now we just have to execute. If you have any questions before or any doubt or indecision before you walk off this field and you don't talk to these coaches, that's your fault. And we're not keeping secrets. So if you have any questions when you break down right now and you go and you talk to your position coaches and you don't ask and you walk off this field, you have done a disservice to us as a team. Okay. We, I think we failed you as a coach for you not to be able to talk to us. You understand? Yes, coach. It's time to turn up. It's time. Make up your mind what you're going to represent. We got to let them know the brook is here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. They're going to get used to us. We're going to get real comfortable. Starting tomorrow on Central. Everybody got it? That's Coach. Uh, Nate, we're for coaches. Y'all got anything? Nate, break us down, get us ready to go. Y'all see y'all position coaches. I feel like our team, whenever we face adversity, you know, we rally back after it could be a bad half, it could be a bad quarter, but I feel like we always come and bounce back no matter what. I feel like as a team, you know, we control what we can control and we just do our best, you know. Put the focus on Lincoln Way Central. Have I got it? Yes, coach. So I'm saying, if you see a phone from this point on, 
confiscated, do what you got to do. The, the captains and older guys, but we need to lock in right now. It's a lot of moving parts you know, and a lot of distractions that could occur. But if we stay laser focused, we can go handle both. Got it? Let's go. Let's go. That's what you got to walk into. Fear absolutely nothing. Failure comes with the territory, but if you prepare, and I've watched these coaches give you, are they giving you the cheat sheet to the test? I watched them all week. I, every, to every detail. They've given you the cheat sheet to the test. Now go take the test. Go, go handle business. A tunnel vision, eliminate distractions. Total focus, and we gotta send a message. Cause for some odd reason, Every team we play in is pissed off because they because we leave in the conference. Well, let's send them with a good a goodbye. Let's send them off the right way. That's how you gotta feel. Yeah, we we in another journey, but y'all gonna feel us this one last time, and it has to be from start to finish, right? If you take their aggression away early and make them think about something else, I think they're gonna struggle. <laughs> I think they're gonna struggle. When they have confidence and start chipping at us away, we can't back down. You have to have a bend but don't break mentality. But you have to have an iron will. And the number one thing I don't want to see today, if something doesn't go our way, you can't go to the sideline and get into self. You, you can't go into a shell and focus on just me. Because it's going to take the 11 that's on the field and our 12th man. And I'm going to be watching the 12th man, which is everybody on ID that's not in the game. If you ain't screaming, run, pass, if you ain't talking to the guys about what you see when you come off, that could be a helpful tip. So if I'm a position guy, if I'm a D lineman, I'm watching to see if I can pick up any tips from the O-line. If I'm a reserve linebacker, I'm watching the running backs. If they, if they get close, what is it? If they off, what is it? So I'm ready to talk football when they come off. If I'm a DB, I'm looking at the wide receiver. Is he really trying to get off? Does he tell you when it's a runner pass? Does he got good hands? Can he handle the jam? Like those are the communications that need to occur when you come from on the field or off the field. Not, I'm not getting my time strong. I'm gonna wait till he mess up. Then I'm, that's, that's not team. That's not football. We are a family. So if we win, everybody on that, that 12 man group won, just like the 11 is playing the game. So you got to be just as involved. And we, everybody in this group, if you're on special teams, raise your hand. I'm going to tell you right now, that to me tonight will be the deciding factor. Defense going to do their thing. Special teams, something's going to trick them, And we have to take advantage of that. So if you're on it, put yourself in position to make that play. I got it? Yes, go ahead. Uh, good break. Hey, it's that time, man. You know, man like, I can't be serious about this shit, man. When I say link away, y'all know what to say. Link away. Hey!
want to know, Tim, now. I want to know. Uh, so all week we've been working on stopping the run so if we stop the run we should be pretty solid because then that's gonna make them air the ball out and uh, I have confidence in our DBs to be able to stop the pass and our D line and our linebackers to get home so on the defensive side of the ball if we stop the run everything should be straight hopefully and then offense they're gonna put up points regardless so I feel like as long as they do like which they always do their job but if they just do that today, this should be a pretty good game, and we should we should get a dub.
got 21 and 20 in the first half. This in the first half, the dude. Fuck? Hey, dude, look, 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 look. You got three quarters left, bro. We see how everybody can make plays and we all stay on the same page. While we get out here, face adversity, and everybody start doing their own shit, cuz. We know that's fine. We know that's fine. Let's go. It's 21 to 0 in the second quarter. Let's go. 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 Hey, put this shit down. Man, when I say legal, y'all know what to say, man. Legal is good. My bad, let me know. <laughs>
have to take advantage of our opportunity. So this can go one or two ways. Senior, stand up. Senior, stand up. Look around. This can go one or two ways of how you want to decide. Are you going to be content? Are you going to be content? Or are we going to have some pride with our back to this wall and punch back? That's what it has to be. You all have to decide. Everybody else on the knee, they got to come back. Everybody standing. You have three games of guaranteed for the rest of your high school career. If you don't make our decisions, you can punch back. We're defense trying to get off the field, we still, we are told, like, at the end of the day, you guys decide, do I want to be a football player, do I not? If you don't want to be a football player, you know what to do. But if you're going to be here, let's make the most of it. Like, we got three games, like, the emotion that you show when you get pissed off and you're frustrated with everything that's going on and stuff like that, let's see that emotion at the start of the game. Let's see that emotion on first down, like, let's see that emotion on kickoff. It's week six, we're still, we, we got to call out 17 times for KOR. We got to call out 17 times for kickoff. And then guys just kind of stroll up like it's okay. So, what, like, I don't know what it's going to take. Like, there's a there's a group of y'all that I know y'all pick. There's a group of y'all that I know that push me to show y'all what I'm going to do. Some of y'all I don't know. So y'all have to decide what y'all have to do, man. Like, serious, let us know. I mean, if y'all want to mail it, we can mail it, whatever. We'll take the 11 and want to play, we'll do what, whatever. But at the end of the day, you got to care for the whole thing. Ready? 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 Offense really fast, offense really fast. What we could look forward to ending out the season is everybody being mentally there and locked in because I feel like once we all get those key pieces together, I feel like we're going to be unstoppable.